Welcome to Modern Approach. In this video, we'll cover the top five most common Flutter interview questions, giving you in-depth answers and pro tips to help you stand out and impress the interviewer. Question five, what is Flutter and why would you use it? Why this question is asked. Let's start with the basics. This is the question interviewers ask to make sure you understand what Flutter is and why it's so popular. They're checking if you've got the foundational knowledge necessary to work with this powerful framework. So, think of this as an icebreaker one where you can set the tone and show your confidence right from the start. Here's how you should answer this. Flutter is an open source UI toolkit created by Google. It's primarily used for building natively compiled applications for mobile web and desktop all from a single code base. The real magic of Flutter is in how fast it allows you to develop apps. Thanks to features like Hot Reload, developers can make changes in real time and immediately see the results, which massively speeds up development. Plus, Flutter is great for building highly responsive and visually attractive apps. It uses the Dart programming language, which is optimized for UI and delivers impressive performance. Almost as if you were developing natively for each platform. Pro tip. Don't just stick to the textbook definition. Make sure you talk about Flutter's advantages, especially how it compares to other frameworks like React Native or Xamarin. For example, mention that Flutter doesn't rely on native components as other frameworks do, which gives developers more control over the look and feel of their app across different devices. If you've worked on a Flutter project before, now's a great time to share that experience briefly. Employers love hearing practical examples. Question four, explain the concept of widgets in Flutter. Why this question is asked. This question dives a bit deeper into Flutter's architecture. Interviewers are looking to see if you understand how Flutter apps are structured because widgets are at the heart of Flutter development. Flutter's UI is entirely composed of widgets and understanding them is essential for building even the most basic apps. Here's how you should answer this. In Flutter, Everything you see on the screen is built using widgets. Widgets are the building blocks of your user interface, and they define everything from layout to text to buttons to images. There are two main types of widgets, stateless widgets and stateful widgets. Stateless widgets are widgets that don't change once they're built, they stay the same. They're ideal for static UI elements. Stateful widgets, on the other hand, can change based on user input or other events. They're used when the UI needs to update dynamically, like when handling user interactions, fetching data from a server, or managing animations. Pro tip. A great way to make your answer stand out is to talk about specific widgets you've used in previous projects. For instance, mention the container widget for layout customization or the gesture detector for handling user input. If you've ever built a custom widget, briefly describe that process it will show the interviewer that you not only know how to use widgets, but also how to create flexible and reusable components in Flutter. Question three, how does Flutter handle state management? Why this question is asked. State management is a crucial concept in Flutter development. Apps often need to update dynamically as users interact with them, whether that's loading data, responding to user input, or updating the UI in response to events. The interviewer wants to know if you can manage the state of your app effectively, especially as the app grows in complexity. Here's how you should answer this. Flutter provides several ways to manage state, depending on the complexity of your app. For smaller apps, the simplest approach is to use stateful widgets to manage state locally. However, for larger applications where you need to share state across multiple parts of the app, you'll need a more robust solution. That's where packages like Provider, Riverpod, or Block come in. Provider is one of the most commonly used state management packages because it's easy to use, integrates well with Flutter, and is highly scalable. Block, on the other hand, follows a more structured pattern and is great for complex apps that need more control over their state. Pro tip. When answering this question, be sure to mention your personal preference for state management and why you use it. For example, you might say that for smaller projects you prefer provider because of its simplicity. But for more complex applications you go with block to ensure scalability and maintainability. This shows the interviewer that you know how to tailor your approach depending on the project requirements. Question two, what is the difference between a hot reload and a hot restart in Flutter? Why this question is asked. This is a more technical question that tests your practical experience with Flutter development. Hot reload and hot restart are two of Flutter's key features that speed up development. 
and the interviewer wants to see if you understand when to use each one. Here's how you should answer this. Hot Reload is one of Flutter's most loved features. It allows you to instantly apply changes to your code and see them reflected in the app without losing its current state. For example, if you're tweaking the UI or fixing a bug. Hot Reload lets you see the effect of those changes almost instantly. Hot Restart, on the other hand, fully restarts the app from the main function and rebuilds the entire widget tree from scratch. It's necessary when you make more significant changes to your code, like modifying global variables, changing the app's state, or updating dependencies. While Hot Reload is faster, it doesn't always catch changes that affect the app's underlying state. Pro tip. In your answer, make sure to mention situations where Hot Reload won't be enough, like when you're modifying things outside the widget tree, such as changing global variables or state that's not within the current build context. Mentioning this shows you understand the limitations of Hot Reload and know when to use each tool efficiently. Question one, what are keys in Flutter and when would you use them? Why this question is asked. This is an advanced question, and it's often asked in interviews to assess whether you understand one of the more complex aspects of Flutter's framework. Keys are critical for managing UI updates in dynamic situations, so the interviewer wants to see if you're aware of how and when to use them. Here's how you should answer this. In Flutter, keys are used to help the framework identify and preserve the state of widgets as they move around the widget tree. For example, if you have a list of items that users can reorder, the keys ensure that each item maintains its state even when the list is shuffled. There are different types of keys like Globalkey and Lokalkey. Globalkey is used when you need to access or manipulate a widget from outside its parent, while Lokalkey is for more specific, localized situations where you want to maintain the identity of a widget within its parent. Pro tip. A good way to impress your interviewer is to explain a real-world scenario where you've used keys effectively. For example, you might describe a project where you used keys in a drag and drop interface to ensure the app kept track of each item's state. This will demonstrate that you not only understand the concept of keys, but also know how to apply them to solve real world problems. That's a wrap on the top five Flutter interview questions. Thanks for watching. Now that you're familiar with these questions, you're one step closer to acing your Flutter interview. Let us know in the comments what question you found the most challenging.